standing. Feet hip distance apart, push down into your feet, big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, take up space, spread out, spread out through your arms, big, 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 wide reach. Exhale. And one more, big full breath. And exhale. Add the bowing forward. Go inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale, look up, extend your spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up, look up. Exhale, hands to your sides. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale, come all the way up, stretch up, look up. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale, bending the knees. Knees stay wide, as wide as your feet. Inhale, look up, extend your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Keep your knees wide, push into your feet, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to your sides. Good. Take your feet outer hip distance apart. Turn your toes open a little bit. And just nice, easy, wide leg squats. We're not going that low. We're just sitting back trying to sit the hips back behind the heels so you're leaning back, not forward, into your knees. Do whatever you want with your hands. We're just warming up, getting those knee joints, ankle joints working, hip joints. And just one more. And back to center. And then we'll do our arm warm up. Let's start with the, sorry, keep your feet wide. Let's start with this one, rotating, hitting your low back, kidneys, Shoulders are just rotating around nice and easy through the knees. The hips are mostly staying still. They're not really initiating the movement. But hopefully this gets your breath going. Keep your head on top. You don't lean your head forward or tip your chin up. And enough. Back to center. Okay. And then reaching through the arms. So I'm going across the body. I'll turn sideways so you can see. I'm going across the body, just reaching like, almost like I'm grabbing a rope and pulling it toward me. All right, so I can even open my arms. Just reaching, nice extension of the shoulder blades. That's what we're really doing. Okay, the shoulder blades, nice and easy, warm up in the morning off the upper back. I find if I do this kind of warm up before I do like a set of push-ups or something, I don't get that weird, um, kind of stabbed in the back feeling or that shoulder blade, uh, upper back tightness. So it's like, a, this goes a long way to warming things up and preventing upper back going out from doing a big arm workout. Okay, and then feet hip distance apart, arms are going straight up just to head height. Palms face each other. This is a, again, a really easy warm up for the shoulders, but these warm ups are so important. You're pivoting right around that shoulder joint. If you wake up first thing in the morning and you just go right into a big hard workout, muscle fibers are not ready. Like the nerves are not firing yet. Blood flow isn't there. Lymph isn't there. So it's good. Get it, get it there first, then add the stress of the workout. All right. So now we'll just go straight out from the face. Also, these warm-ups teach you good alignment, right? So it's like here, I'm keeping the top of my shoulders down. I'm hugging my shoulder blades on my back the whole time. So here, they're not leaving the back as I reach my arms out. And I'm trying to hold my rib cage steady from my core, from my abdominal muscles, from my uh, upper glutes, actually. My butt muscles are holding me still, too. Okay, and then overhead. I'm going a little bit slower today. And I often go a little, you pick up the pace, or you can pick up the pace as long as you keep good form. The top of the shoulders stay down, just reaching straight up overhead. Yep, and the shoulder blades are still on the back. And we go three, two, and one, and come down. Okay. All right, standing leg, single leg, um, standing on your right leg. Take your left leg out to the side. And then we'll tap, heel, one, take your arms out, actually. Two, three, big range of motion off to the side. Four, challenge your range of motion, try not to touch down with your opposite foot. Six, seven, hug that standing leg in, don't touch down with your other leg. 
eight, nine, and 10. Second side, relax the top of your shoulders. Just warming up your balance in your feet. Start small-ish, and then we'll just get bigger and bigger. Four, five, six. I had to catch my balance, so trying not to touch down with that right foot. Nine, and 10, okay? All right, now, standing leg these are like ballet warm-ups for the ankles and the feet, really good for building ankle strength and then ultimately glute strength, okay? So we're going to have the heels together, toes apart. Bring your arms up. This is also good practice for how to hold the arms of the shoulders. So my elbows are below my shoulders, my wrists are below my elbows, okay? So I'm really resting the top of the shoulders and finding that lift from the torso instead. Then come up on the toes lifting your heels, bend your knees out over your toes, sit a little bit low, heels reach down and come up. I'm trying to keep my torso upright, okay? So come up on the toes. As I bend my knees, I'm not leaning my torso forward. Then lower the heels and come up. One more time, come up on your toes, working the toe joints, bend your knees out over your toes, reach your heels down, Come up, relax the top of the shoulders. Reverse, okay? So now we go feet are flat, knees out over toes, but I'm sitting my torso back still. Heels in and up, rolling through the feet. Come up, work your foot bones, and lower your heels. So again, from the side. Sit low, heels in and up. Come up, working your ankles, working your foot bones. Lower your heels. One more time, sit low. I'm trying to draw my abdominals in. Heels in and up, up. Up, work your feet and lower them down and shake out your arms. Okay, a little foot warm up. Now, onto the abdominal series. One foot in front of the other, one arm on top, lower yourself with control. See, every morning, if you can challenge yourself to get a little better at coming down one way or the other, even if it means you're using only one hand to touch down instead of two. All right, and here we go, right into the abdominal series. Roll it back, we're gonna start with 100. Roll onto your low back. Stretch your legs out on the low diagonal and pump your arms. Go inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Now remember, if your low back is coming off the mat here, just lift your legs up a little bit higher or even bend your knees, right? So challenge yourself to lower your legs to where you can still really have abdominal control, right? Pumping the arms. Go inhale and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Nice, soft feet. I'm not trying to control the exercise for my feet. I'm trying to control the exercise for my pelvic floor, the abdominal muscles hugging in the sides of my waist. One more whole breath. We go inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, 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 exhale. Lower your legs. Take your arms overhead. Now, same thing. If I take my arms all the way back to the floor, my ribs will flare a little bit and lift off. If I take my arms up at 45 degrees, now I can soften my front ribs, tuck them in, hold them there, okay? And then, so that's where I want to be. I want to have that control the whole time over my abdominals. Arms come up, head comes up. Exhale, round it over, lifting out of the sides of your waist. Inhale, shoulder blades on the back. And exhale, roll it out. Arms come up, head comes up. Exhale, roll it over. Inhale, shoulders on the back. Pull that waistline back. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up, head up. Curl it over, but lift through the sides of your waist, soft shoulders. Inhale, so that's the trick, right? Is um, All the length is coming from between the pelvis and the shoulders. One more, so you can feel that. The shoulders don't lift. You're lifting the waistline out of the pelvis and the shoulders are just sitting on the ribs. And then exhale, 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 all the way down. Okay, grab a stretching device, a strap, a belt, hook your right foot right behind the toes. Leg is vertical. This is a good one to work on a couple times a week, that leg sitting back in the back of the pelvis. Relax your shoulders. Okay, so, Pelvis is level on the floor behind you. 
Reach through your right heel a lot. Reach that right heel. Try to get it above your toes. Big, strong stretch. You could do this every morning. It would never get old. And it would probably, chances of you getting overly flexible there are slim. As long as you're walking every day, you're not going to get too flexible in your Achilles tendon. Okay. Turn your toes open to the right. So rotate that whole leg. Externally rotate. Cross it over to the left. You can hold on with your left hand. Take your right arm off to the right. Now your pelvis is still flat on the mat. Okay. So just because I'm taking my leg to the left doesn't mean I've lifted up my right hip. The right side of the pelvis is totally pushing into the mat all the way up the low back, all the way up to the right shoulder. Back to center. And then take, put the strap to the side, hands to your side. We're going to do leg circles. So this is all about independence in that leg. Pull the leg in toward you, across the body, down, kick it up. Go across and kick. Hold your waistline down. Hold your rib cage down. Hold your left leg down. So it's all about the freedom and ease in the right leg. Reverse your circles for five and four. Holding your abdominals. Three, two, and last one. And place that leg down. Okay, take your left leg up. Nice stretch. Finding that right behind the toes. Reaching through the right leg. You can always bend your right leg and put the right foot on the mat um, to ease up any stress on the hamstrings on the low back on the neck. So we're going for the whole back body being flat and level on the mat. Of course, my neck is not on the mat, just to be clear. <laughs> you keep my head neutral. All right, and reach through your left heel, strong. My leg is just vertical. I'm not trying to pull it toward my nose at all. Just dropping it down into the ground down to the back of that pelvis, turn your toes open to the left, the whole leg externally rotates, and then cross it over to the right, hold on with your right hand, take your left arm off to the side as a little counterbalance, and the whole left side of the pelvis is pushing into the mat, the left waistline, the left shoulder blade, all down into the floor as my leg goes to the right. So I can't go that far to the right, or I'll start to pick up the side of my, the left side of my body. All right, so I'm resisting that. Okay, back to center. So, uh, put your strap to the side, leg circles, hands to your sides, palms face down, anchor, pull the leg in toward you, go across the body, down, kick it up, go across and kick, across and kick, hold your right leg still, hold your abdominals still, my back is not moving on the mat, and kick it up, reverse directions, go out for five. I'm only going as wide as my mat with my circles, not any wider, because I have to resist and hold this part still. So my left leg can only be so wild and free. Could place that leg down. Okay, do a roll up. Arms come up, head comes up, curl your head and chest up, all the way up, and we're gonna come around onto hands and knees. All right, starting with knee circles. So a, a different kind of hip mobility exercise than that one we just did. This time the, the knee can be quite wild and we'll do a full range of motion. So right knee into your chest and we're just circling it around. So this time your whole torso probably is moving and that's okay. And one more that direction for five and then reverse back up and over for five, four, three, Two, so I really am trying to lift my knee as high as I can. One, and then second side. Left knee hugs it in. Full range of motion, even if that means everything else is moving. Three, four, and five, and then reverse. Lifting that knee up as high as you can. Four, three, two, and one. All right, we'll go right into bird dog. So right leg behind you, left arm lifts, lift your low back a little bit, stabilize the low back with your low abdominals, and then keeping your right knee and toes facing straight down, lift the back leg up, okay? So that it's squared off, your hips are trying to stay squared off. Inhale, look up, exhale, hug in, elbow, knee, nose, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hug it in, inhale, reach, and exhale, inhale, long arm and leg reach, exhale, and one more, 
Nice and strong on that right arm. Exhale and place that hand and knee down. All right, right arm comes up, left foot back, left knee down, left toes down, then lift the left leg, stabilizing through your low back. Big inhale, exhale, hug it in. Inhale and exhale, hug in. Inhale, reach, exhale. Inhale, reach and exhale. And one more time, reach it long and exhale, hug it in, hand and knee go down. Okay, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, lifting your hips up and back. Okay, take your right leg up to the sky. So notice I've got my hips leaning back. If my hips are forward here, I just need to bend my knees quite a lot to lean my hips back. Okay, take your right leg up to the sky, bend your right knee into your chest, hug it in, and then reach it up to the sky. Okay, hug it into your chest, reach it up to the sky. One more time, hug in and reach it up. So just that little back and forth movement. Okay, we're, we'll build on that. Left leg, take your left leg up, keep pushing through your arms, straight and strong, fingers are spread, draw your left knee into your chest. This is a good uh, back of the leg stretch for that right leg too. Left leg up, left leg hugs into the chest. So just that. Stretch the leg up, push your arms straight and strong, hug the knee into the chest. Left leg up. So my torso is rocking a little bit front to back, but not much. I'm keeping my elbows straight. Last time, reach the leg up, hug the knee into the chest. Okay, good. place that foot down. Come down onto your knees. Turn to face your screen. Take your left leg long. Left arm reaches out, right arm along the front. Big side stretch. All right, so opening up the ribs, sides of the ribs. Relaxing your left shoulder. Okay, arms come out in a T position. See if from here you can shift your weight over to the right and lift your left leg off. Bend your left knee. Ah, place your left foot down. Okay, ready? We're gonna do that again. Just, just trying to straighten the leg out to the side. You work your, this is gonna really work your side waist muscles. Try to balance that leg off. Bend the knee. Place the foot down. One more time. Relax the top of the shoulders. Hug. So you're really using the side of the waist, the side of the hip. Hug that butt muscle, and it will help you. Shift over. Take the leg out to the side. Bend the knee in. Don't touch down yet and then place the foot down. Yeah, okay, <laughs> come on to the second side. It's good core stability. You can always double pad your knee, right? You could fold the mat again, put something like a blanket under your knee if it's tender, because um, that's, this is, yeah, okay. So here we go, start with a stretch. Right arm on your thigh, take the left arm over your ear, and reach, opening up that side body. So relaxing that right shoulder, Breathe into your whole left waistline, left rib cage. And then arms come out. Take them into a T position. And you're gonna lean by hugging. But as I lean to my left, I'm counteracting by hugging my waistline and my butt cheek. My left butt cheek is gonna hug in a lot to lift my right leg off. And then <laughs> bend your knee in, place it down, lift it off. Straighten it out to the side. <laughs> Bend your knee in. Place it down. <laughs> Lift it off and straighten it out to the side. Hug in that butt muscle. Oh my gosh, my left glute needs to fire more. Bend the knee in one more time. Place it down. <laughs> okay, really hug your left butt cheek in. I'm talking to myself here. Hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Yes. <laughs> Come back onto your knees. All right, good. <laughs> so that takes the whole lower leg stability issues out of it, ankles, and just makes you work on this part of the balance. That's good. Um, for a lot of us, this is the balance, like powerhouse that we're missing, honestly. We think our ankles are weak. Um, they might be, but probably this has a lot more muscle in it anyway. So trying to get strong ankles is like, um, <laughs> it's not going to take you that long. It's not that, there's not that much there to strengthen. This is a lifetime. You can make this infinitely strong. Okay, abdominal series. We're going to come onto our back. 
hug your knees up into your chest, curl your head and chest up. Now, just sink your abdominals in, sink your pelvis back into the mat. And then hold on to that right knee, stretch the left leg long, single leg stretch, and switch, and switch. This is a good five exercises, five abdominal exercises. You could do them every day. You could do them once a week. And either case, they will make your deep abdominal muscles stronger, the pelvic floor stronger, and that will help your spine strength and flexibility. Okay, so we're reaching that leg, and it's an inhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, inhale, and exhale. Exhale, rest. Okay. You can always leave your head down on the mat, right? Just remembering that. You don't need to have your head lifted up for these exercises. But if your head is down, you have to make sure that your rib cage is also down. Your low back is not going to lift. So double leg stretch. Hold on to your shins. Curl your head and chest up. Inhale, reach the arms and legs out and exhale. Inhale, so my low back is pressing down into the mat, and exhale, right where my waistband is on my tights, I'm pushing that down, exhale, and I'm also pushing right to the low ribs. That whole length of low back, I'm keeping stable on the mat by hugging my abdominal muscles in, exhale. By hugging the sides of my waist in, and exhale, hug it in one more time. Inhale, reaching long, exhale, hug it in and rest. Okay, scissors. So again, the neck is freaking out. Uh, just keep your head down. Relax your brain into the back of your skull. This is not meant to build mega neck muscles. Okay, curl your head and chest up. Stretch your legs up toward the ceiling. Relax the feet. Hold on to your right leg, left leg, scissors long, and switch. So there's a little bounce at the bottom, a bounce, bounce, a pulse, pulse, yes, so that as you pulse that leg though, you have to resist your abdominal muscles. Don't go pulse, pulse. So watch your abdominals for a moment and watch them hold steady as you pulse your leg. Yes, and reach and go inhale, inhale and exhale, exhale. One more, inhale, inhale and exhale, exhale. Draw the knees in, rest your head. Okay, double leg lift. This one is probably the one uh, while you're at home practicing on your own, you're, you're the most likely to be unruly in. So the rules are your low back does not come off the mat. Okay, so you have to monitor that for yourself. Curl your head and chest up. If I was there, I would probably be poking you right around the low back. <laughs> Put your hands behind your head and telling you to keep your low back down more and don't, not to take your legs down so far. So look, I'll demonstrate here we go together. I'm just gonna go that far and come back up. And I'm gonna go that far and I'm gonna crunch in more with my rib cage, curling my head and chest up more, my low back down that much, so that much control. Once you have that, lower down and come back up, but check yourself, right? Are you following the rule, low back down the whole time? So only add the stress, only add the leverage of the legs as you really can tuck those front ribs in as you really can keep both sides of the spine down. Okay, let's do one more. Watch yourself, get really good at watching yourself and responding and then come down. All right, so much of these um, just workout routines to me are about self check-in. Um, your body likes your attention, right? And it likes your time. And so why not? Like, don't space out while you're working out. You're here to pay attention to your body. Okay, space out on all the other stuff. Curl your head and chest up. <laughs> One hand behind the other at the base of the skull. This is crisscross. Stretch your left leg long, cross to your right. And switch, cross, and switch, and cross. And stay up there. Go one, and two, and one. And two, add the breath so it goes inhale, inhale, and exhale, exhale. Keep going, curl up, curl up, pinch the sides of your waist, stay up there. Don't pull your neck, don't pull your head. If anything, your head is resting back into your hands. Reach and reach, but your pelvis is holding still. It is, it's not rocking. And go two, two, one, one, and rest. All right, that was the full abdominal series. We're gonna add in the toe tap. 
Um, so we'll do it from knees bent. So hands to your sides to start, palms face down. Rest your upper back. So just being able to hang out here, this is a good flexibility um, test. Just feel relaxed relax in this position with your knees drawing toward your chest. Keep your right knee there. Don't let your back come off the mat at all. Just tap your left foot down. So this back and forth five times, nice and easy. This should be really easy in the left hip joint. There should be no stress or strain. This is a good litmus test for the next one. So if you can just do this first, nice and easy in that left hip joint. One more time, okay? And then holding your left knee in, or just, just not with your hands, just let it drop toward you, and we'll tap the right foot. So the full weight of that left knee is dropping toward the abdominals. The abdominals are gently hugging in. This is a pretty stress-free exercise, or I should say strain-free. And one more time with that right leg. Okay, so now you've got that. Let's add the stretching out part. So I'm going to let my right knee stay where it is. Left foot taps the mat. Now, as I reach my left leg away, I'm going to have to keep my abdominals engaged to keep my back down. Again, pretty easy because I've got my right knee helping me. It's helping me. Now we're going to switch sides. So right foot taps, right leg lengthens. The knee that's dropping in towards your chest is helping because it's tucking your tail for you. Switching sides, left knee heel taps, left leg lengthens, draw it in. So pretty relaxed. You should not have to use your neck and shoulders here. Just going back and forth, left to right. The heel taps, the leg reaches. Keeping your pelvis down. Keeping your rib cage down. So there's a little gentle effort there. Not in the neck and shoulders, not in the hands, but from the abdominals hugging in. Let's do one more on the right side. So you get that basic action. There should be no gripping around the tailbone or anything like that, okay? Now, come up into more of a tabletop. Bring your thighs away from you. Now, you can progress into this yourself over time by um, taking your knees even a little bit further away. So we'll start more at, like, vertical, yeah? And the shins are horizontal to the ground. All right, tap your left heel down. Let's start with this one. Just that, five times. Left heel taps. Notice the right knee does not move. The right knee does not draw into the chest at all. So now you don't get the help of tucking the tail. Now your pelvis is neutral. One more time on that left side. And back up, okay? Left leg stays where it is. Right knee taps. Keep your left leg vertical, right? So don't let it move toward you at all. You're gonna have to use your abdominal muscles instead of the tail tuck. You know, keep your pelvis in neutral. Means you're not tucking your tail, you're not arching your back. One more time on that right heel and back. Okay, let rest draw both knees in. You can hug them in with your hands if that gives you a little break. And now we'll add the back and forth, left and right, stretching the heel long on the mat. Not allowing the knee that's not moving to, does not move. Okay, so here we go. Leg, knees are vertical, or uh, thighs are vertical. Left heel taps, left leg reaches out. Notice my right leg does not move. Draw that left leg back in. Left leg stays still. Right leg taps and reaches. And then draw back in and they meet in the middle. Holding your right leg there. Left heel taps and reaches. And draw back in. So just going back and forth, right to left, but keeping the rib cage still, keeping your waistline still, and not being tempted to draw the knee more into the chest to help you with a tail tuck assist, right? So we're gonna resist the tail tuck. One more on the left, lengthening, and one more on the right, lengthening, and back to center. Okay, and we'll come up, rock ourselves up. Here we are. And come onto your hands and knees again. All right, so continuing with our little, I'm gonna get my strap out of the way. Continuing with our little sequence from before, we had the bird dog and then we had the downward dog. Okay, so let's work on that, um, combining them. So come into your downward facing dog, take your left leg up to the sky, take your right arm off. Okay, so that's like bird dog. Ah, and it'll take, if you like me, it'll take you a second to balance. Left leg up, right arm off. Place the hand down. Draw the knee forward. Step it forward. 
Okay, sweep it back. Right arm off. Right hand down, step your left foot forward. Step it back. Right arm off, right hand down. Left foot forward, so just, just barely adding on, but now left leg up, right hand up, right hand down, take your left foot down. Okay, second side. Just working on that little balance piece. It's good arm work too. Okay, right leg comes up. I'm gonna kick, hold on, I'm gonna move forward. Okay, right leg up, left hand up, find your balance. Left hand down, right foot steps forward to the hand and then sweeps all the way back. Left hand comes up, balance, left hand down. Right foot steps forward, I'm trying to step it all the way to my right hand and then back up to the sky. Left hand off, left hand down. Right foot forward, right foot back. Left hand off, left hand down. One more time, right foot forward, right foot back. Right foot comes down. Okay, come on to your hands and knees. So adding on to, so, so that's where we're gonna go for our stepping forward cross balance lunge, working on lifting one hand off at a time when we go back to down dog. So. Um, let's do the cross balance lunge from here first, from hands and knees. So we go left, uh, right, <laughs> left foot back, <laughs> right arm up, left foot and right arm lift. So here we are in our bird dog. Go inhale, exhale, elbow, knee, nose, hug in. Inhale, reach it long, right hand down, left foot steps forward, right foot sweeps behind. Okay, so you, some of you know this one. Hands can come off, touch down, step it back, knee down, left foot back, right arm up, hug in, elbow, knee, nose, we're adding that in, reach it long, hand down, foot forward, right foot crosses behind, hands off, hands down, step it back, one more time, left foot back, right arm forward, exhale, hug in, elbow, knee, nose, reach it long, right hand down, left foot steps forward, Right foot sweeps back, hands off, hands down, step back, step back, okay? Second side. So we go <laughs> right foot up, left hand up, bird dog, inhale, exhale, hug in, elbow, knee, nose, inhale, reach long, left hand down, right foot steps forward, left foot sweeps behind, I'm sitting low in my hips, hands off, hands down, step back. Right foot back, left arm up. Exhale, hug in, elbow, knee, nose. Reach it long, left hand down, right foot steps forward. Left foot sweeps behind. Sorry, I'm getting left and right mixed up, uh-oh. Hands down, left foot back. Right foot up, left hand back, left hand up. Exhale, elbow, knee, nose together. Reach it long, left hand down, right foot steps forward. Cross that left foot behind you, hover, hands down. Foot back, one more time. Right leg back, left arm up. Hands, elbow, knee, nose together. Uh oh, stretch it long. Left hand down, let's do one more. Here we go, we're good. So right foot forward, left foot behind. Lift, touch down, step back, hands and knees. Okay, <laughs> hopefully you did enough that you figured out the routine there. So now, let's add that to the down dog thing. So here we are in our downward facing dog, okay, and Take your left leg up, right hand off. Elbow, knee, nose, come in together. Right, just see what happens. Hug it in, reach it long. Hand, right hand down, left foot steps forward, right foot behind balance. Touch down, step back, left foot sweeps up, down dog. Right arm off, balance. Elbow, knee, nose, hug them in together. Just see what happens. Reach long, right hand down, <laughs> left foot forward, cross right foot behind, hover, touch down, step back. One more time, three on each side. Left leg is up, right hand comes up. Elbow, knee, nose, try to bring them in together. You see, <laughs> yeah, just see what happens. Reach it long, right hand down, left foot steps forward. Cross that right foot behind, hover, touch down, 
step it all the way back and step to downward facing dog. Okay, second side. Right leg comes up, left arm comes up. Balance, try to bring elbow knee nose together. Push into that right arm, straight and strong. It's good arm work. Now reach out, long arm and leg, left hand down, right foot steps forward, left foot comes behind. Balance, touch down. Step it back, right foot back, left arm hovers, elbow knee nose. Try to bring them all together, left elbow, right knee, and both sides of the nose. I'm not quite to the nose part, maybe you are. Okay, reaching leg and arm long. Left hand comes down, right foot steps forward, crossing that left foot behind, hover, hands off. Good, touch down, step it back. One more time, right foot comes up, left arm lifts, elbow knee nose, hug them in. Oh yeah, reach them long. Left hand down, right foot steps forward, left foot hovers behind. And hands down, step it back, and step back to downward facing dog. Excellent. Come back onto your knees. Come up. And we'll do a little more side leg work. Okay, so here we go. You're going to be on your knees, right hand down, left leg out to the side. Left hand behind your head, left leg lifts. So this is the, kind of like the variation we did, but now you get a hand assist. Bend your left knee, place your foot down, sit back on your right heel, and just sit tall. We're gonna keep the hand behind the head for right now. Okay, so, and the right hand will stay low. So we're lifting up and shooting that left leg out. Bend the knee in, sit down. So it's just like that, nice and smooth, and we'll keep going. So we're gonna bend through both knees, working that right knee joint flexibility. Sometimes you can't sit all the way back on the heel, but notice how you've got your right hand assisting you. So you can push into that right hand and stay hovering off of the right heel if that knee is tight. One more time, reaching that leg out and back down. Good, and then come back onto knees. So it's a little mobility exercise for the fascia of the top of the knee, and you get the lateral hip work at the same time. So stretching your right leg out, left hand down, right hand behind your head, we'll keep it there. And then lifting the right leg up, bend the knee, place the foot down, and you just sit back on your left heel. Notice I've got my left hand helping me if I need it, and then springing back up. So this is like the more beginner version of the one we do with the arms opening out to the sides. Um, a little more accessible if your knees are tight, and it's just focusing on working that knee fascia and working the side hip back and forth. Sit and lift up. You can push into your left hand and it will help you get out of your left hip a little bit if that doesn't feel so great. And sit back. And one more time, extending that leg out. And back in. <laughs> and then come on to your knees. <laughs> All right. So. One more lateral body exercise. Coming on to that left side again. Right hand down, left hand behind your head. Move your hips forward and your head back so you're stretching that side body. Okay, turn your left toes up to the sky. And now lifting your left leg up, hip height. Yep. And then little circles with it. One, two, three, and circle the other direction. One, two, three. Hold it there if you can. Come up with your hands. And it's just like we were doing in that very first variation, trying to balance, leg up, arms out. Good, and then come back down and come on to your knees. Okay, so like I said, working those outer hip muscles. Second side, right leg out, left hand down, right hand behind your head. Lean your hips forward, your head back, so you get a good side stretch there. Um, this, this is a fairly advanced action to be able to support your weight on your knee. Um, without the hip joint bunching up. So just respecting that hip, um, that doesn't feel good. You have to work into this a little bit more. Lifting your right leg up and little circles. One, two, three, reverse. One, two, three, hold your leg there. Try to take your arms out in a T position and balance. 
Yep. And then come up onto your knee. Okay. All right. Downward facing dog. One more time. And we're going to do across the body push ups. So it looks like this. Um, let's see uh, how to describe. So my heels are together, toes are apart. That way, when I bend my knees, I'm going to pivot and place my left hip down. And, my, and then I'm going to bend my elbows and do a push-up and back up. So it's a nice lightweight push-up, makes it accessible. My hands are lined up in the same plane. And then I got to lift my knees up and turn. I'm going really slow on these first set. Turn, bend my knees, place my hip down, push up, back up, lift my hips. Okay, so that, that's what we're going to do for 30 seconds, um, just back and forth like that. So ready? Here we go. Heels together, turn your hips, dip one, push up, back up, turn. You can go your own pace. Bend your knees, dip your hips, push up. I'm just going to talk through a few more so you get the idea. Swivel, hips down, push up, and up. So I'm doing a push up, but my whole thigh bone and pelvis is on the mat, the side of my pelvis anyway. So I'm kind of uh, landing before I do my push up, making my push up relatively easy. Um, if you do enough, they stop feeling that way. Elbows are close into the sides of my body. Let's do one more, one more to this side and back up. Good. All right. So you get your, <laughs> you get your waistline going and your heart rate up a little bit in preparation for mountain climbers. So we go lifting the hips up, spreading your fingers nice and wide. And we're doing 30 seconds of mountain climbers, approximately 30 seconds. That is, the right knee comes into the armpit. So you can lower your hips a little bit or you can do it from a downward facing dog. Ready and start. So it's a mobility exercise too. We're working a lot on the hips today, hip mobility, hip strength, the stability that's created from the psoas muscle. Draw those knees into your armpits, up, up, up. I'm doing a downward facing dog version. You could also do more of a plank version here, right? But keep going either way. Yes, <laughs> get your knees up. Try to get as close to your chest as you can with your knees each time, as close to your armpits. And we go three, two, and one. Good, sit back into extended child's pose. Sit your hips back, reach your arms out long. And we'll do a little bit of a different stretch here, the side stretch. So lifting up and over that right thigh, walk your hands over to the right and just make a crescent with your torso. Your head is still down. You can use your right hand to push your hips back toward your heels. And then come back through center over to the second side, crescenting up and over that left thigh, still trying to reach your hips back toward your heels. Breathe into the sides of your ribs. Let your head go. So hopefully today's workout's like kind of mellow, right? It shouldn't get your fight or flight instincts worked up. Maybe a little confuddling with some of the left, right stuff. That's okay. That gets your brain body working. Let's come back to center for extended child's pose. But it works your hips, it gets your heart rate up, it works all the fascia in the joints, the lymph moving in your gut, your psoas is woken up, and then we'll go downward facing dog last time. So it is possible to have like a, a full body, nice, relaxed workout that's still really effective. Walk your feet to your hands, you don't need to add stress to your day from your workout for your workout to be effective. Your workout can be like the relaxation part of your day. It should be, in fact. Bend your knees. Good. Bring your elbows to your knees. There's a time and a place for stress and um, stressing the body through exercise, but you have to really evaluate where the other stresses or stressors in your life are coming from, how many of them you already have. Do you really need to be adding exercise stress? That's always a good question. I ask myself that a lot in my training routines. Come all the way up. Good. Big inhale. And then I evaluate after my workout too. 
and exhale, hands to your sides. Like, do I feel more at ease in my body or do I feel pulled up and out of myself? And maybe it's a little of both, but it's just something to ask yourself. I feel more present, more alert, and more at ease. <laughs> 